Um, you know, when you have a one, you start looking back, thinking that, there, that all those losses are going to chase you down. And I think we did that. We started looking backwards. You can't win a race to look and see where your opponent is. And, uh, you know, that's the process of learning how to win. Uh, we haven't done that yet, obviously. Uh, every step in the, that direction helps. I think this was a baby step, but it is in the right direction, not the wrong direction. This team beat uh, Indiana State, and they beat Northern Kentucky coming in here. Not a bad ball club, and they played extremely hard. So uh, uh, I was happy we got the win. Uh, thought that uh, Ryan had an outstanding game. Luke got back to being Luke. Started making making some shots for us. The Kilgore kid came in and uh, gave us a few minutes. I was happy for that. Um, James, you know if you, I'm just going to guess. But go down the stat line: six of thirteen, four of six, fourteen rebounds, sixteen points, two assists, and he had a bad game for James. Now he's he's better now. I think he can be, and I, 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 we challenged him at halftime. James, you, you got to be more, more than what you are. Now, he's a young kid. You, you think he's older because he's fifth year, but he's 21 years old. That's young for a, a, a guy that's coming out right this year. So um, uh, we got to get him to where he doesn't have those six turnovers, and uh, uh, he just has to understand how to dominate a game. I think he can. I think Ryan is stepping up his games. His last few uh, games have certainly improved. Uh, again, too many turnovers. He had four. Uh, we, we've got to you know, cut down on our turnovers, obviously. And it's, this really is them trying to make hard plays instead of easy plays. Just reading the game a little bit better. And then the last thing we got to do, either Terrence Thompson or uh, Nadine or Dosey. One of those two, I hope two, but one of them got to step up and be able to play this level. Uh, when we go on down the road, and uh, John Elmore uh, joins us, and uh, Stevie gets to move more to a natural position. We'll be pretty good, especially with the Kilgore kid, and I count on coming in and shoot on down in the rotation. But uh, having him there, we're pretty good on the outside, I think. Uh, Stevie can certainly play point guard for short periods. I'm hoping, you know, watching practice that John Elmore is that, that answer. He shows in practice. Uh, he's got a, a bad ankle that uh, you know, I don't know. He might be ready for West Virginia. We'll see. Uh, he'll be close. I don't want to throw him in, though, when he's in a game like West Virginia where he's 90%. He'll have to be 100% to play against them. I don't want to put him to the wolves at, at less than what he is. But, uh, it was a win. It's uh, sugar pops tonight for me. I usually go to bed without dinner. Now I get to eat a little uh, cereal. And the Dan Tony family is smiling. So I'm happy. I hope the heard fans. Great band, I want to say. Super band. Super uh, help from the ROTC coming. And uh, my thanks go out to Dalton and uh, Brandon for getting those folks to our game. All the herd fans stay with us. It's a building process. And this took a little baby step, not a big one, but it, it was a baby step. You went with the iron five in the <clears> second <throat> half. What was? I wrote it on my pad. And, you know, I knew that I didn't feel comfortable substituting. And I wrote on there, iron man five. I Did turned you? around and I said, that's what they called us. Now get through this and let's win this ball game. And, uh, James picked it up, did some things that I haven't seen you do before at the end. And, uh, but that, I'm, I'm telling you, it's funny how things go when you win. These things just disappear on their own and they give coaches credit. But it's basically they just disappear on their own because they get a little confidence. And they, you, can't, you can't win games looking over your shoulder. I think we start looking over our shoulder and thinking, you know, come on, clock, let's go. Instead of saying, you know, I used to tell my teams all the time, don't. I work at Glen High School, they come over and they go, two more minutes, all we got is two more minutes. I said, guys, it's the best time of your life. Don't wish it was. Play these two minutes and enjoy it. Just play it hard, play it through, and hope you have 10 more or 15 more. 
You don't want to leave this scenario. This is the best scenario of your life. So don't shorten it by thinking you got to have a win. The whole idea is you want to play, play well, now look behind you, keep forward. Uh, and uh, I think we'll learn as we go through. I think mean, somebody's going to look at it and say, well, they were two and six, or what, two and four, whatever the record, I'm not sure exactly. But their last two were wins. And they're well coached, and they play hard. And anytime you have that happen, you, go, you better play with them beat you. <clears throat> he has shoot 60% from the free throw line. How big was it at the end of the game when they're starting to come back to be able to go to the free throw line? Not uh, again, that's, I think that's doing this. You know, they just hadn't been there enough, and there's not. When you haven't won one, you're afraid to lose one. And uh, uh, when that happens, you step up there by yourself. You do, the tendency is not to shoot as well as you normally do. And we'll get through it as we get past and we win some games and put down the pressure of winning one isn't there. Now it's winning two. And then once it starts getting two, three, four, then you know it goes away and they'll step up and make shots. We're capable of making shots. Uh, James Kelly is probably the second best three point shooter. He had made one all year. Now don't ask me why. I ain't got no clue. But you want to come watch practice, you'll see him make every day long shot he takes. And so, you know, again, it's a lot of rust. He hadn't played in a year and a half, two. Sometimes you have to wait. You have to wait. You've said before uh, all this year that no moral victory comes out of a loss. After a win, what's the biggest takeaway from tonight? We play Eastern Kentucky tomorrow. Saturday. That's it. Uh, you know, everybody wants that storyline. <laughs> I wish I could give it to you, but you can't. You know, if you want to go ahead and write one, it's a good story for you. You know, but to be quite honest with you, it's uh, a game goal. You play the next one. And, uh, you know, they always talk about the, uh, the momentum, the bows on your side, all the tides moving and moving. I will say this the only thing you get from it, we're not there yet. Is if you get rolling like Golden State, they got 22 victories. They feel pretty confident about what's going on and that they can finish. But we're at the level where we are, it's just go to the next game. We, there's no, we have a risen to the level that you get a momentum. And we'll have to fight through. Now, if we can fight through three or four or five and they start getting confidence that they can do it, now you get the confidence at the end of the game. But if you think you can just have that confidence go to the next game and win, and uh, you got to play. So it's every every game builds on itself. I, I remember when I played, I'd have five or six hot games, and they said, oh, he's on a roll. The next game, I, I didn't play too well. Well, that roll went out and went real fast. So all, all, I'm, all I'm saying is that every game is different. Every game gives you new challenges. You do get confidence by winning, and, and that helps at the end of games. We certainly weren't there coming into this game. And, you know, we lived, did some things, like I said, I've never seen, but I think that happens when you are in the position we are in. It just naturally does. It takes a while. We played, uh, when I was at Sox City High School, we had never beaten the history of school beating Myrtle Beach High School. Uh, and uh, we outplayed them, must outplay them 40 points, and we beat them on a the last second shot. But, and then from that year on, every year we just start beating them. Don't ask me why I took, but I'm telling you, we've outplayed them 40 points to get them by one. And they made shots out I've never seen them make. We missed, did things. I couldn't believe we didn't. We did. Won the game. Came back next year, won the next two. And when we outplayed them 40, we beat them 30. So I, I don't know uh, what does that. I, I wish I could bottle it up for you, but you know what? I got to worry about Eastern Kentucky. We got to try to win that ball game. And y'all have to worry about writing a good story. So if you want to do momentum and do that and get yourself a raise, I'm all for you. Go ahead. I'll agree with you. You said it. You were talking about you get confidence by winning. Yet a team that hasn't won went out there with a lot of confidence tonight. How, how do you explain that? Well, I don't think they went out with a lot of confidence. They went out determined okay. to win. And uh, we got it going. But when it got closer to, okay, now you're going to win, that old head started looking back at what we had done with that 0-6 record. And it's just hard to get through that. I, I, I can't explain it to you. And some of you probably played. I don't know. You know, I don't know the background. Mm -hmm. But if, if you played, you know that 
You haven't been successful. You haven't been successful. You play golf. If you play golf, it's the same thing. You get down around your best score, 78, you start counting that score back, and what happens? You blow it. <laughs> That's just what happens. And it's, it's tough to fight through. But once you get through it, you're all right. You know, we, it, but we're just not there. Next game is going to be a tough game for us. We'll have to play it out. We'll probably get a little bit better, maybe, and not make, I don't think James will walk off the line. Uh, I've never seen him doing so many games, but uh, that's what happens. But we got away with it. He learned. He, probably, he won't do it again. So there's one little step forward, and we got a little bit better. That's what he did. He just walked off the yeah, line. and after. Well, well, he, he said Ryan said something, so he just turned around. Whoever well, was made the first one. I don't even tell. I, there's sometimes in film I watch, I said, I don't even want to tell you. I don't even want to tell you on that I got to look Coach, we've seen C.J. Burks start to emerge a little bit on the stat sheet, more points, more rebounds, more assists every game. Where do you think his biggest role in growth is? Well, it wouldn't be every game because his last two weren't too good, which were freshmen. You know, he gets away from home. Sounds good. That's what freshmen do. But uh, uh, CJ's a good player. He's going to be a very good player before he gets out of here. And, uh, you know, hey, you're 18, you just barely turned 19. You're playing like 22, 21, 23 year olds. That's a big leap. And uh, uh, that's what it is. You know, I deep with that. He's going to be really good. He's 18. So, you know, when I took his job, I looked at it, and in all ways, Marshall, I thought, was at its lowest end in basketball. We, uh, the players, I don't think, were representative of what it should be as a Marshall student body. Uh, our reputation around campus, not good. Kids didn't show up. If you walked in any store downtown, there was no basketball item. Uh, facilities, which they're, they're work, everybody's working. So when you when get here, they're making steps to improve. But y'all saw the concourse. And you know what it's like? I think Greg White put the last touches on. That was in the 90s. And, uh, you know, everything had drugged out. I think it's unintentional. And I'll give you a good story, I think. When the plane crash occurred, um, everybody thought it was the destruction of the football team because we lost the football team. And rightfully so, I could see it. I see why they did But what they didn't realize, that basketball was at a national level at that time. You had a team that was ranked ninth. So everybody said basketball's okay. The problem was, I hate this. Rock, Chambers, the Rostons, Wolves, they were hard to be in basketball. Those were the guys that were supporting basketball. And so what happened was they were eliminated. Everybody rushed to save the sport that looked like it needed it. Basketball went here, then down to Huckleby, then down to White, because there was, wasn't that push from alumni who tried to maintain everything that it was that they had that day. And uh, so when I got here, I looked at it, it looked like it got. So you're trying to rebuild it, how do you do it? You can go back the old way, which was take cast offs, which although you took James, but take two or three cast offs, two or three junior college guys. You want a program like that, then that probably get a little quicker results as far as taking it to a certain level. But it'll never go beyond that. It'll stay right there at that level. So I decided to go with four year kids. They're young and uh, inexperienced. Uh, I got faith in their hard workers. They stay out here, and I just got—I I just feel like they'll get it done. And uh, when you when they do get it done, then you have a great student, a great kid, a great alumni, and a great program. So when I leave, next guy in isn't facing everything that I looked at when I got here. Back to the game. Number fifteen gave you. You didn't like that story. He, oh, it was great. It's a great story, but yeah, I'm surprised you could go on after that. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. 
Just to I told you it's a good night. I'm going to have pop, sugar pop when I get home. I'll be giddy as hell. Go ahead. F 15 gave you fits uh, down low. He gets his fourth foul and goes over and, and watches, and you guys go on a 12 nothing run. Nice one. That's usually been us. Ryan goes over and says, down there, going to be running. Uh, you know, the first game, I believe this is the first game. And, I, you know, I, that, that 30 to 10 has always been the other way for the last six in their favor. So, you know, at this, at this time, we, we made emphasis that don't foul. Don't foul. Don't get pick up silly fouls. But, you know, Ryan, last game, for a team that, had the best record, one of the best records in the Colonial last year. He plays 25 minutes because he stayed in foul trouble. He, we're not that deep yet. We can, he can't do that. You know, we talked to him about that. So, you know, we we got to shoot better free throws toward the end. I, I, again, that's that is a confidence issue, and I, I think that will get better. But uh, we did a pretty good job, like you say. James had 14 rebounds. Should have had 30. That's what I'm gonna tell him. Hey, James, that's great 14 you had me because you should have had 30. That's what I see in him, you know. So if he short sells himself, i got to talk him into seeing it the way I see him. We'll see. Again, seventh game, set out all last year. Played a little bit down in Miami. And toward the end of the year, they kind of benched him. So we'll see what happens there if I can rouse him up. But I will just say this, and there they go. Yep.